Hi everyone, my name is Tony and I'm one of the founders here at Claim Browsing. Daniel and I both built this application to help create safe browsing experiences um, for parents, uh, those struggling with addictions, as well as organizations uh, that are looking to create these safe browsing experiences uh, for their users. So we're both extremely grateful that you've decided to entrust us with your network traffic. And to help with that, we've put together this orientation video, uh, and this assumes that you're using one of our paid subscriptions. Uh, and the intent is to kind of help answer some of the more common questions, as well as kind of help orient you to what you should expect as you're navigating in the application. So let's get started. We're gonna cover three things. Uh, one is, of course, configuring clean browsing, uh, you know, how you should do this, what are the options, how should you think about this, uh, some of the key features that you may or may not be aware of, as well as how to get a hold of us if you have a problem. Uh, so first, uh, when configuring clean browsing, a lot of your billing information, security, uh, that's gonna be located in the dashboard under my account, and I'll show you that when I give you a demonstration. Um, and then a lot of your configuration uh, is going to be uh, exist here settings and in your network, and I'll show you that in the dashboard as well. Uh, a common question I get is around number of devices, uh, and if a rule of thumb is, you know, if you go with our basic plan, you can pretty much cover your whole home. There's a lot of complexity with like IoT devices and mobile phones, etc. I, I wouldn't stress that too much. We're, we're pretty lenient, and we're looking at kind of overall network traffic um, and we have that on the pricing page so um, a lot of the information you want around the plan you have will be located inside your my account uh, section inside billing uh, so please take a look at that uh, second thing is in configuration this is probably the number one question we get is like where should i configure clean browsing and, and the answer is typically like it all depends on your desired outcome if i'm a school if i'm in a municipality and i'm worried about people connecting to my network and having clean experiences when they connect to my network then the configuration that i'm going to want to do is at the edge or at your router or your modem wherever they're connecting to the rest of the internet that means any device that connects to it is going to get filtered this is the same technique that can be used by parents uh, if they want to protect all the devices in their home. Where you want to configure locally is if you have a device, a laptop, a phone, a tablet that's leaving your network. Maybe it's using um, a public hotspot or something like that. In fact, then it might be in your interest to use the application or to use one of the native configurations for DNS in the device using the settings that we provide. Uh, this is one of the reasons that when you go into the application and you go into your, your network, you're gonna see a lot of different options. And unfortunately, those options are just things we can't get away from because there's just so many different ways to configure. So again, focus on the desired outcome. Um, and if you go to our support documentation, we actually have um, a, an article that helps you kind of think through this. So with that in mind, let's dive into the dashboard real quick. So when you log in, this is going to be your login page, um, and you're always going to be greeted with this dashboard. This dashboard is designed to kind of give you a quick view of the number of requests that are happening at any given time. Uh, and this is one of my test accounts. So you can see uh, the number of requests I'm having per day. So if you look at our pricing and we say, hey, you can support 250,000 requests per day, this is what you're looking at. Look at this, and, and that'll give you a good idea if you're within range or not. Um, then, of course, we'll give you a breakdown of the different categories that we're seeing across the network. Okay. Um, so with that, uh, I mentioned two specific areas you're going to be interested in. First is here in the My Doc, My Account, and the Billing section. And this Billing section, unfortunately, I have mine set up as a test account, but this is where you're going to see kind of what you've paid, um, what account you're on, and at some point we'll have an option here for upgrades and downgrades um, as well. And then uh, you also have the ability to do uh, change your password, set up 2FA, which is very important. And then you can see kind of any changes that have been made in your account. Again, if you're ever curious, you know, what, why something isn't working, that'd be a good place to start. Uh, the second place is from a configuration standpoint, is here on the Your Network. So here on the Your Network, you have the ability to choose between your different profiles. Um, and then in this section here, Clean Browsing DNS Servers, you're going to see all the information you need. We try to make it a little bit easier for you by giving you specific instructions for some of the more common platforms like Windows or Mac or Android. And what you'll notice, they all pretty much use the same uh, code, and that's if you're using our app. But we do have instructions in the instance you want to deploy this manually at the device level. Okay, uh, And then, of course, if you're just using the router, we just give you the DNS IPv, IPv4. If your uh, router supports IPv6, we also provide that as well. So uh, just a quick orientation on what you can expect when you log in. So let's move on. 
Uh, a couple of features that are worth highlighting uh, that I, we don't necessarily see everyone using, but it's something you should consider, which is the idea of profiles. It's the profiles is designed to uh, group devices. So let's say, um, you know, me and my wife, uh, we want to have a more lax filtering exp online experience. In that instance, um, we would create a parent uh, profile and that profile would allow me to put my device and my wife's device. If I have kids, if I have three kids, I can have a kid's profile and then I can group all my kids' devices under that profile. And it's just a really easy way to apply specific rules for specific groups of devices. Um, when you log in, you will have 21 predefined filters. These are filters that we've created uh, just to make it easier to block a group of, cat of types of domains. And then of course we have platforms. The difference between filters uh, and the platforms is that uh, the categories and filters are say like pornography. It's a wide group of any domains that are associated with, with pornography while a specific platform might be something like YouTube or Netflix or Disney. And what we do is we look at all the domains associated with that platform and we try to identify and block them for you. So if you have other recommendations of the platforms you think we should be blocking, please let us know, or we should make it exposed so we can, you can block it, that'd be great. Um, and then of course, one of the more popular features is the ability to block specific domains or allow specific domains. Um, and this is all gonna be found in your custom domains um, page. In here, you'll see you have the ability to uh, block or set any specific features that might exist for that platform that we're allowed to expose. Um, and you have more in here. You have the ability to allow domains, block domains, and then you have specific TLDs you can block as well. So any domain that has a specific TLD will be blocked. Uh, DNS mapping is more for large organizations. And then of course, if you wanna just block the internet, shut it down, you have the ability to do that as well. So three features I want you to know about that I think almost all users should be aware of. Um, oh, and one thing for profiles, profiles does exist in its own tab. You have the ability to create one. It'll quickly show you kind of utilization across each of them, and then you can dive into each profile, uh, see the specific configurations. You also have the ability to switch between profiles on the top right here and see specific configuration for each profile. Uh, and then everything will show up here in the act activity log for you. And you'll see that it labels the, the profile that it's coming from. And with that, I just want to say thank you. Uh, please enjoy the platform. If you have any questions, always reach us at support at cleanbrowsing.org. Uh, and then I would be remiss if I did not also point you to our awesome document library, which is located under support. In here, we have a bunch of different documents and categories for documents or groupings, essentially. Uh, so you can just search whatever you want uh, and the information should pop up. So again, my name is Tony. I'm one of the founders here. and and. And both Daniel and I just want to say thank you for your consideration and we're always available if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.